Hello and welcome to the 2018 Half-Life Speedrun tutorial for the scriptless WON category. Now, it's been about two years since there's been a good beginner tutorial, so I'm going to make one here for you right now. First things first, we're going to need to get the game. And be sure you own the game on Steam, because you're going to need that in order for the game to launch. So, first things first, we're going to go to speedrun.com forward slash h01 forward slash resources. This is going to be download our game. Here we're going to go here, we're going to download the gold source package here, or the 2005 package. I recommend the 2005 package because everything's already set up for you. So we go ahead and click that link and it'll bring you to this page here, where we can go ahead and go up here and click download. Now I have it downloaded here. You should have all this in, your, in this .zip file. Just go ahead and drag and drop into a folder on your desktop like I've already done here. First things first, we're going to launch the game using this bat file right here. Now, why not this bat file? Well, we want our menus to work. This bat file is what we're going to run normally when we start doing runs and stuff, but for our first time for setting up the game, we're going to use this right here. All right, now that we're in the game, first things first, we'll start setting our initial settings. Like your video resolution, your volume. Like, your volume's always going to be really loud, so I prefer to turn that down a lot. And change your video settings if you need to. If you have trouble running the, the game, if your game is locked at 60 FPS for no reason, it's probably because VSync's enabled in your global settings on your NVIDIA control panel. You're going to have to turn that off. And same thing for AMD, but I'm not exactly sure how you do that. So another thing too, let's go ahead and set up our initial binds. So we use bunny hopping, so we're going to have to bind our jump to our scroll wheel. I like to use scroll wheel down, but you can also use scroll wheel up. And for duck we'll also have it bound to our opposite scroll as well as have it bound to controller wherever you prefer another thing too is I'm gonna get our get my quick save key and our quick load key close to my keyboard and another thing too is that you can put these wherever you like these quick save and quick loads some people like to put them on their mouse you can definitely do that if you want to now, I'm going to go ahead and go into a map, so I'm just going to type, open the console by hitting the tilde key and just go to the first map in the game. Map C1A0, like so. Now, first things first, this, this FOV is very zoomed in, so uh, I'm going to change that. This is something that you're going to have to write in your user config in order for it to say when you close the game, or your auto exec. Basically, you go into the Half-Life folder and you go to valve underscore w-o-n and then you double click auto exec and you put these exact same commands and just finish them off with a semicolon like that. And it will automatically start with these commands for you. Now, the first command is default FOV. Change that to whatever you prefer. I prefer 126. Most people prefer 126 for 16 by 9. I prefer, well, yeah, I do prefer that. But if you run in 4 by 3, people will prefer 110, which is around the same. And now there's a couple other settings people like to use. These are all optional. Room off is something I really like. It gets rid of their like obnoxious echoes in the game. Another thing I like to use is CL Bob Zero. That gets rid of few model bobbing. And another one, which is actually you have to use at least one point in the run, but some people like to bind it to a key to enable and disable it. But I like to have it on at all times because I think it looks nice. Is GL texture mode. GL nearest MIP map nearest. What that does is that makes your game all pixelated. I like that. And we're going to need that to set up later. And go ahead and change your sensitivity while you're here, too. I like, I use sensitivity, too, but use whatever is comfortable for you. Now, that's our initial binds to get us started. So. Be sure to write these in your user config for them to save. Every All your other settings will save once your game gets closed. One last thing before we move on to the next part. Be sure to join the Source Runs Discord if you have any questions, like if you're having difficulties getting the game working. Then you can go into the Source Runs Discord and they'll definitely help you out there. And if you need any other help just in general running the game, you can also go there. And you can also go into 
my stream or any other person also running Half-Life on their stream. And they'll gl gladly help you. And that's it. Well, let's move on to part 0 0.5 where we'll go over movement.